now. Yeah. Lars is while standing 2 1, no longer 13 on block. Yeah, it's, it's 12 now. Yeah, which is excellent. so you can't launch it anymore. But you, you, you can't. Um, He's back 3 3, you can't float him. You can't float. Uh, it, yeah, not back 3 3, but while standing. While standing 3 3, while standing one three, yeah. Hand, yes. For those who don't know. It's 14 what, frame yeah. for back 3 3, that's right. You need a 14 frame move to float Eddie off a of back 3 3, and I'm not sure what the exact number 15, is. 15? 15, yeah, 15 frame move will float Eddie from while standing one three. It's a frame difference, but if you forget, you can always use Lucky Chloe as reference because her 3 4 and while standing one four are the same in, in that regard, thematically. So, you know, as we were saying, Gura, great player, off to a great start right now. Eddie almost in rage, just backdashing his way. You know, there's an infinite stage with Eddie. Eddie with the back, oh. best backdash in the game. You gotta make use of yeah. it. And Rami, just make his way forward rather than backwards. Let's be back one plus two, get punished with the down forward one. And um, like we were saying, Lars, of course, is, is a bit of a, a, a rare pick these days, which is a, a, a contrast from Tekken, Tekken Tag 2 and Tekken 6 days. But, you know, um, let's see. Oh, no, no, that doesn't punish that. You need to back 3-4. Um, nice. nice. Gets nice. the down forward 1-1 one, one float there with down forward 2-1 screw. Hits him on the ground. Counter, oh, hit. counter hit. Yeah. He's going to get a big combo here. Eddie is slightly off axis, but he should be able to get the combo. He does. It's a lot of damage. Goes for another dynamic entry too. Just being patiently, pa playing patiently right now is Gura. Doesn't want to commit nice. to anything. And that excellent with punish there with the down forward 2-1. We'll close it out here. The silent entry forward 1. Two round lead right now. That's an excellent punish there. And of course, Lars, one of his strengths is his whiff punishers. Like, he's one of the best whiff punishers in the game. Um, and he, he's got three launches 14, 15, and 16 at different ranges that do different things. Yep. Um, nice forward, forward, one plus two there. Blocked there by Rami. Rami, you know, not really making use of a lot of Eddie's tools. Playing really scared right now. You have to play more aggressively, especially if you've got a two round deficit. You've got to make your way back in with some momentum. With the Arc Blast, no punish there, a bit too far out regardless. Goes for the slide, goes for the relax, forward 3 plus 4, down forward 4 to 1, one hit. No count hit there. Yeah, that, that's launch. a punish, that's a punish there. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. yes it is, I, I just yeah. remembered. <laughs> nice break on the running one, uh, 2 plus 4 throw there. 15 seconds left in the round, neither player in rage. Goes for the 50-50. A lot of people don't know this, but there's a deceptive mix-up with the while running 3 and the down 3-3. Three, three. 5 seconds left. Goes for down 5-1 plus 2. Can't make his way back in. Gura playing too patiently and too defensively to allow him for a comeback. 3 rounds straight for Gura playing that Lars here in the Azure stage. Or the Infinite Azure, I should say. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are going away from that stage. Uh, and let's see what we get. Perhaps we get Infinite Azure again. Uh, Rami wasn't confident in the no walls, even though you know a lot of players favor that with Eddie. Yeah, because of the backdash. Yeah, you just run away. You know, you have to stage select, obviously. It's yeah, 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 of course. Of I'm course, just saying, yeah, yeah. it didn't seem very comfortable. Um, but yeah, Hammerhead, of course, the newest stage in the game. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a very average stage. It, it's, it's, it's a rectangle, you know, it's not really... There's many wall breaks, anything like that, and I think it's very... Um, Quite fair for everyone, basically. When we, when we were talking earlier about what is the longest stage in the game, we are talking about Hammerhead as, you know, one of them. But obviously, it's not the longest st stage in the game. But, uh, speaking of the stage itself, a lot of players are unfamiliar with the layout. You yeah. know, they might their combos might be unoptimized because they're not familiar with the, the range to the wall or the distance from the side wall. And, you, you know, you start off at a weird angle. It's diagonal to the wall. So you have to be familiar with that. You have to know your character's combos. Gura just playing very patiently, waiting for his chance to float Eddie out of relax or handstand. You know, doesn't want to commit to too much because you know you might get crushed and launched with one of the 50-50s. Down forward one, one, one. No duck there. Nice sidestep on the down forward two. Gets the one three. Just playing at him with compact pokes right now. Down oh, nice. Down back three. Four. Sorry, back three four, my bad. Rami now in rage. We see a rage drive. Most Eddie players would, would throw out the rage drive each, went for a good time to do it. Uh, running three. Looks like that. Wolf Punish. Well, yeah, I think it was a Wolf Punish. Looks like Wolf Punish. And, and all you see Gura doing here, he's not playing fancy or anything like that. Um, he's just controlling space. I think that's why well. he, he picked the last, he, he, he went with the last pick because he felt he can control the match really well. And he's doing so right now, he's playing really well. Gets the combo, doesn't convert, goes for the sidestep low, launch Punish for it. Wall damage here from Lars. Goes for the Shining Wizard and uh, goes for Oki. That isn't actually guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Which I'm, is really I'm, strange. I'm unfamiliar with that setup. Maybe he wanted something else but just got that instead. Rami playing patiently. 30 seconds left in the round. 
Oh, that's minus 12. Minus 12 ends. And Duck of as well, yeah. So, no reaction there from Mami. Gura has to remember that. Nice sidestep there. Eddie now in rage. 15 seconds left. There's the rage ground. Nice back to wall. Come back there from the 50 50. Nice oh, sidestep. that was meant to be an arc blast for sure. <laughs> Lars now in rage. Nine seconds left. Gets the punch and the down two to close it out. Gets a count here. That was chunky. Two round lead right now and a final round for this match and the and uh, match point for Gura. Nice punish kills. Down for 2 1. Gets it to the wall. Dynamic entry. Or silent entry. 1 2. Dynamic entry. Dynamic entry. Uh, dynamic entry. Dynamic entry. Yeah, yeah. I always get the names mixed up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a last Yeah, player. I know, I know, right? <laughs> if I can't get it right. Oh, the YOLO oh. dash up. Down for 3 plus 4. Expected a get up kick, maybe. Or another uh, Oki option. Yeah. Maybe trying to mix it up with the slide, rather. Nice back one plus two there, gets the slide follow up. What's he gonna do with this rage? Gura almost in rage now. Throws out the rage, ah. hits him with the second hit, can he close it out? Yeah, and close. the damage with the back three three is just enough to do so. Finally gets around on the board right now. He kind of hit the up four three as well, and that, that's a very interesting uh, option that he, he chose in that situation. I, I didn't think that would, power. yeah. Uh, d crouch trap is a very good option to beat Eddie Adam and handstand. Or yes. headstand. You lose to a few options like slipper kicks and down. Three to the four, which is the launcher. But you know, risk reward as it is. Gets but it does float him as well. Yeah. But, um, oh, and Rami doing Rami some work. Rami ties it up at two rounds apiece at the down four. Oh, go. Tie it up there. Can he work his way back in? You know oh, what I'm interested in seeing? Will we see a character change mm. if we have uh, this match going to the next match? Uh, if we have Rami win this match. I think for sure we will. Uh, Gura, of course, known for, uh, like you're saying, Lily and Leo mostly. But last and year, geese, do and geese, and geese, most and geese as well. Time. Nice good punch there with the one-two. Could have gone a little bit more. No break on the one plus two throw there. One hit away from possibly uh, taking it. Down back one so. three steals it. Well done there by Gura. <laughs> Rami almost uh, showing signs good. of life there. Almost made a full comeback. Maybe could have taken it out there, but you know Gura very familiar with the matchup, especially because I think he picked Lars into Eddie because it's a matchup where he thinks it's favorable.